Hi Margaret, finally got to a position where I can explain this to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Adobe and I'll send you these. There's two websites. There's Pixlr and Adobe. I'll send you the link on them both. But the first one we're going to do is Adobe and we go to adobe.com express feature image removal background okay upload your image so i'm going to go to my files to find one of the images of the chair and it says drop your image in there so i'll move myself a little bit and we go this is the image i'm looking for and drop it in which didn't work so we try it again move this over a bit and here we go good work this time no it didn't i'm going to try it again oh here we go it's removing the background now So you can see it's in removing background and refining edges. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is download that. It's called a PNG file. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to the photo editing site, which is Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. Hit return. And the first one that comes up is Pixar free online photo editor. Click on that. And we're going to the advanced. You, do, you, can, you don't need to sign in or log in. Click on advanced. Open image. And we're going to pull in the PNG we just downloaded from Adobe. Open. Open. Try that again. And we're going to use this middle one, Max 1920. Apply. Okay, we've got our picture in now. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a background. But before we do, we can adjust the color here. If we go to adjustments now you have all your different things here like brightness you know you sliders you can move it up and down but there's one here that's quite good just cancel that for the moment if you go to auto adjust you'll see how it enhances the picture straight away it's made it a more enhanced picture now we're going to add the background so that we go up here to layer new layer now over here it's added a layer so we're going to grab that layer and move it underneath the picture underneath the background and then we go over here and we're going to click on our color icon to pick whatever color we want as the background you see i've made it red there and the white changes it now i want to go back to the white so we go right up here to the corner click ok and now if we click the background click on the paint bucket again click the background and there we have our white background now we want to save that so click file save we want to save it as a jpeg which is highlighted there high quality and so save and we'll call this Chairs adjusted. And save that to pictures. And now, if we come back out and go back in, move myself up a little bit, go back into my files, 
and then pictures. Share is adjusted. Click on that, see what it looks like. And there we have. So we can compare that now to what we originally had, which was this one. Now, there you go. Hope that helped explain to you. And any problems, come back to me. Take care. Bye.